All right, mate. Hi there, Peter of England here in uh, Piccadilly Gardens in Manchester. And uh, I can see that the Antifa's stall is already in place. And as you can see over here, they've got uh, another another position and the group there's quite uh, quite considerable numbers of them uh, placards just the same as uh, as last week and so there's a, a continuing mix of uh, of groups who are coming in the the usual place that uh, I go isn't available this week because there's a uh, a market in place there um, so the message here, particularly for anyone who is uh, is on the uh, the middle or on the side of reason, uh, and who is a supporter of of freedoms, basically for all peoples, and not someone who's just buying into this liberal, left, Democrat, anti-Trump, open our borders to everyone on anyone peculiarity, no, okay. then. Yeah, then uh, this is what really should be doing. And as you can see, uh, I don't know, I've got two characters that have just come up to me while I'm standing on my own, speaking to myself. So can I help you, gentlemen? Hello? Can I help you? So as you can see, these are the bully boy tactics that are employed by the communist left and uh, the so-called liberal Antifa group who are Soros funded who are being brought over to deliberately antagonize people. So on their agenda there is no such thing as free speech. What are you doing? Officer? Why? Yeah? This guy's just tried to take the camera off me. Huh? Do you know what I'm talking about? No, do you know what I'm talking about? I'm just talking to myself. Yeah, you can carry on recording. I've no issue. Yeah, recording. okay. I'll respect for, for you. I'll for, turn for, it away for, from you. No, but obviously, don't be putting in people's faces. I haven't. People I've just, just stood like here. It. All right. And these two guys come up and try and take the camera off me. Yeah, well, they're, they're not allowed to take your camera off you, are they? So no, we well, know that. So. so you know, if you right. would uh, uphold your oath of office and try and keep the peace. At the end of the day, I'm keeping the peace. Sir. Right. Everyone's so the if I, speech. if you hear me trying to incite people or mm -hmm. speaking ill of then you're more than welcome to all come. I, all I saw was two people and the conversation appeared to be getting heated so I came over to sort it. Thank you very right, much. Because I've nice been day. here for the last three weeks. I don't yeah, know whether yeah, you yeah. see me. I yeah, usually yeah. stand over there with yeah. my speaker. Today I haven't got it with me. Okay. But I'm just trying to exercise my right of, I think, free speech. It is free speech. And I'm not saying anything adverse to people. And he comes over, he's got no idea what I've been saying. I'm speaking to the camera. I'm, as you can see, I'm not in anybody's... Uh, anyway, so and we'll just leave it at that for now. Please, have a nice day. Thank you very much. So, as you can see, with that uh, element of conversation, I'm just going to carry on, peaceably filming. But as you can see, these people are very antagonistic, very aggressive, and they have just one interpretation. Thomas Ford. Huh? Thomas Ford. Am I? Are you a Thomas Ford? Uh, I'm not against him, shall we say. That's as far as it would go. Uh, so... Uh, as you can see, lots of uh, lots of people trying to become uh, controversial and cause problems here. So uh, I'm standing here on my own. Uh, it's 11 o'clock in the morning, and so we shall see how the the day the, the day pans out and develops from here.